All right, there's um, new figures out today, Hilary, about, about organ, organ yeah, donation. Yeah, so, this is such good but... news. Organ donation is still, in this country, one of the lowest in Europe. So we need to do more about that. But it has increased. There were something like 1,300 donations from people who'd lost their lives last year, and that helped to achieve 3,500 transplants, saving people's lives. Mm. But we do need more people to register, mm. tell their relatives that they're interested in donation if, if uh, the situation arose. And, of course, we need more from the Asian and, and black communities who, who t traditionally aren't that, that um, efficiently coming forward and saying, yes, we'd be prepared to donate. Yeah, that's a long-standing problem, yeah, isn't it? Is. it? Um, well, we got in touch, Hilary, with Maxine, who received a liver transplant, and this is what she had to say. If you would take an organ from someone, if you needed one, or if you would happily take one for your, your loved one that needed an organ, then just have a think about signing up to the register, talking to your family and friends about it, which is the most important thing, so they do know it's what you want if the worst time should come. You know, I wouldn't be here now talking to you if somebody hadn't signed up to the organ donor register um, and given me my life back. Yeah, you see, that's how vital it is, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. And it's easy to do. You can do it in your GP's surgery, actually. They'll, Absolutely. You can register there. Register anywhere. Register yeah. online, post yeah. office, wherever. Exactly. But well done, Maxine. Lovely to see you, Hilary. Thanks very much.